Hey guys, Reaganite 71 here, back with another installment for drip irrigation. Today, we need dirt. We gotta put something in the beds. Whatever can we do? Now that's what I call a shovel. There. <laughs> That's what I call a shovel. Reaganite has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that is how you get dirt in your raised bed right there. I'm going to owe you a tarp. Well, that's looking pretty doggone good right there, I must say. I must say, that was one 16-foot trailer full of earth without the grass and weeds from uh, Dad's neighbor's stock pond where his cattle go down to feed or drink. So it's just going to be rich with nutrients. And then uh, we put the top layer in with some of his compost and we'll uh, get a little tiller out later on and mix it all together I'm glad I didn't have to buy it because that would have been very expensive 12 inches tall 32 feet long that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff there I better get to work Now it's very handy having a tractor to do most of the work for you. 
there is one casualty and that's going to be the lawn <laughs> but that's all right that's why they make grass seed and it'll be back to normal before you know it I still got my good stuff over there too that looks like a drop in the bucket that's like that's <laughs> trying to use that to fill this bed be like trying to take on a bomber with a spit wad you know <laughs> one more bed to go we got to go get a load now Well, we managed to go from this to this in two days. Thanks to the help of Reaganite Sr. You have an evidence? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time when we start to work on the above ground drip tubing emitters for drip irrigation. Till next time, have a good spring.